In today's raft video, I'm gonna be doing a build challenge. Not only are we building a ginormous raft, we're building a mansion, a gigantic house on this raft. I'm gonna be sure to use every bit that I can to make a well-designed, super elaborate, and very unique, especially as a boat afloat on the ocean. Having a mansion on it is gonna be crazy, and I hope you're excited for this video. If you are, make sure you leave a like on it for me. Let's go ahead and build an open water then. So I've got a 16 by 16 platform here. Okay, it's a large raft, but I'm actually playing in creative mode, so it's actually very easy to get these reasons Resources, but I want to attempt to make a really nice looking raft house here and I mean like mansion style raft house since we have all this space to work with let me go ahead and start with an outline of where the house is gonna be if I just kind of think of it like this with pillars the pillars are gonna help me measure out where the house will go that already looks like a really large wall like so large that I can build a manor I'm gonna go ahead and keep placing down these pillars just to show where this building is gonna go if I just kind of measure it out like so I think this is the right, the right way to do it I'm about to sneeze I don't want to <laughs> I did it. All right, and then we're just gonna make sure that we have like a nice, well laid out design here. Hmm, I'm trying to think. If I have like a little garage area, do I need to make it super big? No, not too wide. So let's make sure that this is the mansion portion of the house. Oh my goodness. Is it gonna have like a little front door area? I think it might be used full. Just putting down these wooden walls here. I think these are looking good. There we are. I have the spaces open for where I want to put windows, a little back area sort of idea. And it's going to start getting dark out here, so I should probably think about getting some lights as well. Let's just get these windows placed in as well. That looks like a window. Making sure it's designed correctly here so we can get some natural lighting. I'm also thinking about placing a door here so we can have, like I said, a little back area. Let's just try and work as much as I can through the evening. So for the evening, I placed down a few lanterns. I also put down some posts where I'm thinking we'll have for different parts of our raft. Like I'm thinking this part is gonna be like a little garage area. That way we can have like all of our tools and like smelting room there. That'll be really useful. And then right here, this will be like the lead in to the kitchen. The kitchen will be right over here for all the cooking, all that nice little like design and kitchenry and then also like looking over here which i think would be like a little dining room Ooh, or a piano room <laughs> i have a whole piano i totally forgot i need to place this down somewhere and this area will be like the little living area have some chairs down here kind of get relaxing and cozy but go back over here this leads outside which we can have a little back porch also an awning thinking we can have a little garden place there for this raft so much work that still needs to get done so let me keep on building i'm gonna go ahead and start walling off some of these parts here there we go i think this will do real nicely all right so it looks like we have the first floor planned out we have the entrance right here bunch of pillars keeping everything up and sturdy a pillars that will keep everything standing up a little cozy area over here for us to relax our garden that we will work on once we get towards making a patio our kitchen which leads into the workstation garage area <laughs> and then we also have a little dining room which can have some tables and chairs and a set of stairs that lead us up to the second floor, which we have quite the space to work with here. Plenty, if you think about it. All I need to do now is kind of figure out do we want one giant room or some individual ones. We might need something of a waste room, if you know what I mean. Honestly though, I think we can get away with just making one gigantic room here. So let's just go ahead and get some walls figured out. So let's set it in there. That's good. Oh, make sure I save room for some windows. So now we actually have a pretty solid floor plan for the second floor. Pillars are everywhere. And I, I know it's a bit ugly, but we needed that in order to keep the roof up. You need to have the structure supported by these pillars. And these pillars are not too bad once you get used to them. If anything, we could try and cover some of them up with some walls or just walk around them, you know? It's actually pretty easy to just maneuver around, especially with everything looking so well and so spacious already. It seems like this is around the time where we finally get to start laying out colors for 
our ship here for our mansion because our mansion needs to be decorated it needs to be designed it needs to even have some space for like really good looking amenities when it uh, when it comes to it like our piano here and our fireworks let's go ahead and put down one of these fireworks i'm gonna let let it go see how it launches look at that Oh, a job well done designing the house, that is, because we have yet to actually finish our build. Let me go ahead and let's get started on something well done. Very simple and easy, and that's gonna be the roof. The roof is gonna be one color, so all we need to do is get our paint here and figure out what it will be. I'm thinking gray, a nice gray roofing. I think that'll be okay. We could try and make it explosive with like some purple. I think purple could be a very nice color, but if the color of our house is gonna be blue, what would be a nice top for it? Maybe the purple would be good, I don't know. Let's go ahead and lay down this purple roofing. I think the purple roof might be what we're looking for here two hours later there we go i think we've painted about everything in this household that but the floor let's see what it looks like from the outside though currently let's just go ahead and let's build some platforms away hello whoa whoa okay it's actually a pretty nice looking house i would say it's very blue very vibrant let's try and get it from this angle too hello oh i can actually see what the garage looks like because of the thatch door the thatch is over there at least the green leaves kind of make it look like a garage already all right it looks like we're placing our last bit of items that we need or at least that we would want to have on our ship here <laughs> if i just go back here and i check out the garden it already looks like we're getting a fair amount of growth here we got some crops growing. Looks like uh, we got potatoes and beets, even strawberries that we could eat. Pineapples, watermelon, a tree. Right next to our ginormous engines, which could help us outrun a shark. And we could fill in our water onto these crops here, just so they can start growing. We can get a little bit of grass growing. So if we ever come across animals, we can take care of them here too. But I should go ahead and show off the front of our mansion here, okay? We've spent so long building this thing that it's time to show it off. Without further ado, let's make a little platform here to turn around. Wow, okay, very blue, very blue out on the ocean. It almost looks like it's blending in. Oh, I fell in the water. Hey shark, don't mind me, I'm just falling in the water here. Hey, look at this, it's a two story house floating on a raft and it looks very wonderful, I like it. I wanna go ahead and show off the inside. Let's actually go through the front door since it's wide open here. If we just walk on through, you can see that there's a nice rug here to greet us and it's already open to everything. Everything being uh, kind of colored blue here. If I start off just heading back over here towards the clock, you can see that not only can we tell time, but we can cook all the time here because we've got a kitchen table, we've got a nice cooking pot, and we have a grill. Oh my goodness, yes! Finally, we can do some really good cooking out on this raft here. Even have ourselves a nice little shelf here. That's gonna help us in putting up spices or any sort of seasoning we may be able to get. Mostly salt, if I think about it. Right here is a door that leads to our garage area that has our little workbench that helps us unlock a bunch of recipes and a smelter which we will need to work with metals yeah that's our metal working area we even have another engine outside the window if we ever need to work on it or turn it on it's right there we could actually exit through the garage door to do so low engine Let me go ahead and head back inside real quick and let's show off the dining room nothing too fancy it's got four chairs and a nice table and we still have a painting that we can hang up to add a little bit more to the room look at that dog he's howling at the moon what is this one man and moon oh wow that doesn't look like a man but that definitely looks like a moon and if i just quickly go over here this is the nice living area we got a chair that we could sit in just like this good rug so we could relax our feet 
and a nice view of the ocean from two different windows. A fair amount of windows so we can actually view out and look around our surroundings. I already showed off our garden. It's all of our fresh harvests. We got strawberries, potatoes, beets, what looks like a mango tree growing slowly but surely. You got this mango tree, I believe in you. Some watermelons and pineapples, a fairly decent back garden area. If I just go ahead and shut that, I can make our way to the steps to look up on the second floor where we actually run into our steering wheel. Yeah, it's right by our steps. We can actually look out this window right in front of us and turn left or right for guiding us along the ocean here. It's gonna help out a little bit, especially when our engines are turned on and we're moving fast and forward. Now if I just walk up these steps here, we're gonna be entered into the second floor, which is kind of just the bedroom. It is all bedroom and pillars, <laughs> but the pillars are there to support the roof right above us as well as take a nice little nap here. Oh, but we can't fall asleep during the day. We're too busy showing off our gigantic house here. Now I do have a little area right over here. If you ever just point this firework at it, we have this little cozy area where we can actually set down our master piano, our grand piano it is. And this is very nice. We can actually sit down, look at the shoe that I have up on a shelf and just play some music. Like, uh, what is this one called? Dreaming on the Sea. Let's see if I can actually play this one. Oh, too fast. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not a pianist right now, but obviously we have some time to practice out on the open water here. Oh, taking in a nice view of the ocean and even getting to enjoy our back patio, which we could watch our tree grow slowly but surely. Once it gets up to this height, we might even be able to reach out and grab some fresh fruit from there. I think that'll be wonderful. And we even have a ladder that takes us all the way to the third floor, which is the roof. <laughs> if we wanted to, we could expand it more but oh my god that would take so much more time and a lot more wood <laughs> well i had a lot of fun building a house in raft everything was done in creative mode so i didn't have to worry about finding all the resources but if i had to think about it finding all those resources in survival would take forever. I'd be out on the water for weeks, months even. But I'm hoping you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it for me. If you want to watch more build challenge videos, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know if you're interested. And if you want to watch more videos of mine, go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you could be here. And click on that notification bell if you want to be here first to watch this video that just showed up in the corner right here. That's right, a video just showed up on this video and you should start watching it right now because this video is about to end and this video is about to begin with you clicking on it right now.